Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So I'm out here in the garage. I have recently upgraded the lighting in the garage, not to mention the fact that I got a new camera. So this video is going to be about my process that I went through to upgrade the lighting. And so this all started yesterday. It's turned out pretty well. Had some hiccups along the way, but uh, we'll get to that in uh, just a couple minutes. So let's cut over to the video. All right, my friends, here we are. I am uh, about to go into the garage and do some deconstruction and construction. So I'm gonna walk you through into the garage. Hopefully it's gonna get kind of dark in here for a minute. So uh, stand by. This is the garage. All right, this is the garage as it stands today. This is the workbench. It is very, very dirty. This is my car. All right, what do we have here? We have the table saw, which is covered up. <laughs> we have the planer, which is covered up. Uh, and the router table, and then a miscellaneous group of tools here which in this case is a you can't see it because the lights aren't on uh miter saw and whatnot so i'm going to flip on the lights that i do have and show you how much brighter it gets okay this is with the lights on you can see it's a little bit better um i got some light over here in the corner um got some more light um over the workbench but it's not awesome and I'm trying to adjust the uh, aperture here a little bit. Uh, so what you can see is the, in this case, both lights are currently on. The light over here is finicky and likes to not work. These two lights over here um, work okay, but you can, maybe you can see the flicker. They all have tremendous flicker to be quite up. There you go, look, I got it on the video. It just randomly stops working. This is what I'm left with, a workbench here that is is uh, just underlit and not very terribly useful. All right, so uh, this is the long view of the garage. Uh, this is the example of the lighting that I have right now. You can see in the ceiling, got a nice little hole where honestly I fell through the, the ceiling here at one point and then it actually uh, fell down and landed on my car. That's awesome. So I am going to be replacing these lights right here and right there with bigger, better lights. Problem number one, these are not long enough and the pigtails to connect them end to end are not long enough. So now I got a problem, I gotta figure out. I don't know how to solve it. Here are the options. Cut them, extend them, or search online for longer ones and wait. So I might have to do both, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so future Tom here. I decided to take the pigtails that connect the two lights together, which are only about 19 inches long, um, and cut them in half, extend them with some wire that I got at one of the big box stores. Now, the wire is black, the pigtails are white, so it looks kind of ridiculous, especially coupled with the fact that my heat shrink tubing was red. Uh, <laughs> But nevertheless, cut over the video showing you how I soldered it and then uh, finally put it together. Okay. Here we are in my soldering station and I'm going to adjust everything once we get going here. But we got some uh, 16 gauge wire here. It's three conductor. 
uh, that we are going to take and splice these in half and uh, extend them to four feet. So let's see what happens. Okay, friends, the cables are made. Time to go into the garage, uh, hang the drywall uh, to cover up the hole where one of the lights is going to go. So that's going to be uh, you know, an hour or two of futzing around, and then I will hang the remainder of the lights, and we'll show you the results. Over and out. This is the new garage with the new lights. I think it turned out wonderful. It is so bright in here. It's gonna make such a big difference uh, working in here. Still got some cleanup to do with the hanging wires and I don't know what I'm gonna do over here. It's just not long enough. So, but uh, gotta be honest with you, I could probably use six more to cover that end of the garage, but I don't use that end of the garage very often. So I don't think it's a huge deal. Right on, I like it, I'm digging it. It's the way to go. All right. All right, so right off the bat, you can see that I left the old lights up. They are right here. They are currently unplugged on this side, but the, one of them is plugged in over here. I will be taking them down at some point. I actually had the epiphany that I can replace these bulbs here with LED lamps as well. So I'll find a use for them. Maybe I will hang them over here on the front of the garage where there's no lighting right now. You can see the sunlight is coming in right now and it's actually hitting the floor, uh, creating a little bit of extra light in the garage. But overall, uh, the new lights are gonna work out, I think, pretty well. Okay, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you learned something from it. Going to be doing more videos from here in the garage with the camera in the upcoming months especially as it gets more warm outside it happens to be fairly warm today let's see it says it's going to go up to 52 and it's currently 52 <laughs> so that's good news so again hey if you like this video thumbs up if you don't like it i would appreciate a thumbs up anyway don't forget to subscribe ring that bell very important these days check out all my social media down below and thanks for watching don't forget to be inspired.